Do you want to know who is behind Banksy? In this video, we will deeply investigate Banksy, even using AI for the first time ever. Banksy has captivated the world with mysterious graffiti, yet his true identity remains a tantalizing secret. In this exploration, we delve into the three most probable theories about who Banksy might be, unraveling this modern mystery. Let's start with the first theory that suggests that Robert Del Naja, a frontman of the music band Massive Attack, could be Banksy, and bear with me. There are good reasons for this. This theory gained traction when DJ Goldie referred to Banksy as Robert in an interview. The clues are compelling. Both hail from Bristol, a known hub for Banksy's early works. Del Naja's graffiti roots trace back to Bristol's Dry Breads crew in the 90s, mirroring Banksy's timeline. And if the paint doesn't function and you're depressed and you're, the pain you come out with isn't going to be that good. Spray paint's terrible stuff. It's, it's crap. The manufacturer is pathetic. You never get... 50% of the spray cans are going to mess up halfway through. Their art shares striking similarities. Del Naja's visual artistry is evident on Massive Attack's albums, often incorporating stencil techniques akin to Banksy's style. The two artists move in the same circles. They've shown mutual admiration and collaboration, with Del Naja appearing in Banksy's documentary and Banksy writing for Del Naja's book. Curiously, Banksy's artworks often surface near the band's tour locations. This pattern has been observed in cities across the globe, from Toronto to New Orleans. Is this mere coincidence or a clever ruse by an artist known for subterfuge? Let's compare Robert's voice to a newly found video of a man who claimed to be Banksy back in 2003 before Banksy's breakthrough. Robert Banks. It's Robbie. Robbie. Okay. Oh, i got something better to do. I think Ground Force is on the telly, right? You know, if you're a working graffiti writer, you're not really in a position where you can stand next to your work and smile and shake people by the hand, you know? Which is from a personal first-hand perspective, it's a very different kind of response. We have in the past used a kind of journalistic approach to our light show by transmitting and, and sort of regurgitating information that's around us. I sent the audio file of these two voices to an AI who said that it was not the same. By the look of their eye colors, this seems to be the case, too, as Roberts are blue and the man in the interview has darker eyes. I also looked through Robert's Instagram and discovered that he had been to Ukraine around the same time as when Banksy's artwork started popping up in Ukraine. The second and perhaps most likely option is that Banksy is Robin Gunningham, a Bristol native whose life trajectory intriguingly aligns with Banksy's. Key points include... Gunningham's upbringing in Bristol closely parallels Banksy's supposed origins. He was an early suspect, and some of his acquaintances have corroborated this theory. A scientific study by Queen Mary University of London found a significant correlation between Gunningham's known locations and Banksy's art. Banksy set up an art installation called Dismanaland a few years ago. In this, a worker was spotted with very close resemblance of Robert Gunningham, as they even wore the same sunglasses. A third striking argument for Gunningham being Banksy happened during the auction where Banksy shredded his painting in front of the surprising eyes of the spectators. During this same auction, a man with high resemblance of Gunningham appeared in the crowd and again with sunglasses. The last argument for Gunningham being Banksy lays in this old TV episode showing Banksy's very early work while interviewing him on the streets in Bristol. I see a wall that I haven't painted, I get a nagging feeling about it. And there's a lot of walls. It's quite a lot of nagging feelings, you know. Can you notice the resemblance? I personally don't think all these images are a coincidence, especially as they are so closely related to Banksy's work. I showed the picture to an AI who confirmed that indeed the hair and face features shares a close resemblance. With all this in mind, Gunningham is very likely Banksy. You would think the mystery might stop here, but instead, I believe it goes much deeper than this. Why? Well, 
Many things suggest that Banksy might not be a single individual, but rather a collective of artists. At first, it was really hard to find any images of Robin Gunningham at all. However, after hours of digging into forums and elsewhere, I eventually found a ton of photos, and they are all very interesting and revealing. There is even a photo of Robin Gunningham allegedly together with Robert Del Naja, which says a lot. This theory gains credence from the complexity and scope of Banksy's projects, which seem to demand a coordinated effort beyond the capabilities of one person. Regardless of who Banksy is, be it Gunningham or a collective, the intrigue and speculation add layers to their art. Initially, Banksy may have started as a singular artist, likely the person known as Robin Gunningham. Over time, however, the Banksy identity has evolved. It now represents a syndicate of artists united under the banner of the Banksy brand. This collective produces art authenticated by the dedicated Banksy service, Pest Control. Beyond art creation, the Banksy entity encompasses a professional network of lawyers, art dealers, and curators. They collectively uphold the integrity of the Banksy brand, ensuring that only officially recognized pieces receive the esteemed Banksy endorsement. But the truth is, we don't really want to know who Banksy is. It's inevitably much more fun to think of some masked Warhol biting his thumb at the mainstream art world and taking the mystique of an anonymous graffiti tag to its inevitable conclusion. Banksy is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. So, who do you think Banksy is? Leave a comment down below.